But why they are still children? They need you. You cause this problem. Now you use your team, bring them. So it is your responsibility to actually stay there in their lives. They need both parents. But if the unfortunate happens that you end up with scumbags, good for nothing, partners, and you need to go abusive marriages and all of that, I have to be sincere. It's going to be tough. There are widows that didn't plan this. They just happened. I have to still tell you, it's going to be tough. God is going to help you. But ego hard. You have to roll up your sleeves and get to work. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, welcome once again to my channel. And um, I, pardon me, I'm just a bit... I'm not I'm not ready for this content, but I just had to just take a quick break from my system to just quickly come here to say this. And um, um, thanks to those that reached out to me and requested that I speak about this. I it meant so much to me that you believe that I this I can um, contribute to this kind of um, talk. So yeah, we're talking about um, single parenting, especially to single mo single mothers and raising um, male children and um the intricacies involved um i'm not yet to condemn anybody um i'm not yet to pass judgment i'm not yet to ask questions you know why did people become single mothers and all of that it's a very sensitive area to go because i have friends that are single mothers i have friends that are single fathers some of them tried as much as possible to save their marriages and they couldn't so yeah i know it's a very sensitive one so i'm not going to um I'm not going to come and come and you know attack or condemn anybody. No, that's not the reason why I'm here. Uh, I'm just here to just talk about the reality and the intricacies. So, apologies to anybody that feels um, offended. Um, yeah. So, the big question is: Do you need a man to raise a boy child in, to raise men? Uh, yes, you do um, because raising men is a bit um, tricky because um, of how we grow as men and um, you can understand everything in this world as you can be the smartest woman in this world and very strong and very firm and all of that but you didn't grow up to be a man except maybe you grew up to be a man you know but if you didn't you won't understand the struggle and um, before we became men we f were first boys and before you became women we were first girls so before we became when we were boys and we did what boys um would do we did what boys are doing right now so we knew what um we did which makes it a bit difficult for um our boys to actually deceive us it's a bit difficult because we already we lived it and nobody actually outgrows their um childhood it's still, it's still in there somewhere. We only just suppressed it because of maturity and experiences. So it's there so we can easily relate with them. And so, and there's this part of a, 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 a child that wants to be free. Every child wants to be free. Every child wants to experiment everything they see, everything they think. And um, they feel um, angered, you know, when you want to correct them. So it, a friend of mine tackled me yesterday and said... Uh, but yeah, Andrew, you are wrong. Thanks for tackling me, though. Andrew, you are wrong. Uh, women love their their sons. Why men love their daughters? Well, maybe true. Not the same for me, though. Maybe true. Women love their sons. Men love their daughters. Right. Then the Holy Spirit, you know, made me realize one thing. That that's actually where the problem is. Yeah, you love your sons. Perfect. Wonderful. But at the same time, you know, when you love someone so much, you would not want to correct them. When you love someone so much, you would not want to hurt them. When you love someone so much, you would not want the person to dislike you. You know, want the person to see you as a villain. True or false? Most likely true. Because you are being careful now. You don't want to lose that love. You don't want to lose that, that affection from that person, which is where the problem is. Love don't raise kids because a child's brain is a tabula rasa. Everything that comes there sticks there, stays there. And we'll, children want to experiment with everything. Everything that they see, that they are told, they see other people do. So you need someone back home that's going to be a bit, a bit tough 
we're not gonna show the love. Women are naturally emotional, right? That's not gonna show the love, that's not gonna show the emotion, that's gonna straighten them up. Without that, every child is just gonna be doing everything they see, every crazy thing they see. Like I keep using myself as an example. Yeah, you see this body face, I be this gentleman face. Nah. Moving to Lagos, we grew, we we grew, we stayed in the wood. Place called Alagbadu. We stayed in the wood and it was tough there, right? Um, my primary school was in a private school. Then secondary, we moved to the public school. Um, and the public school that we went to, uh, yeah, Agbado District Comprehensive High School in the ni early 90s, I think around 1994 or 1995. And I saw things, right? I saw things. You know, I saw things. I saw um, um, some of my classmates in my JSS1 and JSS2 already had full pubic air with full past my beard. Full past my beer with feet plates. They yeah, show us they already are children, grown as people, and they were doing stuff. They were smoking. They were trying drugs. I now I grew in a Christian home, right? But I couldn't try those things. Why? Not because I didn't want to try them. Not because I don't want to be free like a bird, like a child. Where every child wants to be free, but because I remember that if I got back home, my papa would kill me. Yes. My papa will nearly kill us because he would drink milk. Milk. Like milk where we see for table. Nobody say we we no go rough shop, go steal milk. Oh. Like we just got home. We saw milk on the table. We used it to drink. Gary. He almost killed us that. And next time, when you see something that is not your own, you shouldn't take it. We will not come back home. Maybe principal will not call him and say your son was caught rapping Igbo somewhere. No, I just know say I don't die that day now. I don't die. You no know, be all this wokeness. We be say you go go social media. People go begin they shout. Why did you beat your, beat your child out? I don't die. Be that. You understand? For that reason, I was able to sit right because I knew that back home, maybe my mom would have would give us soft landing, but my dad wouldn't. So I had to save my own life and not act like a madman that I wanted to do. Now, also because I was active in church as a children's church um, pastor, I wouldn't want kids, other kids to see me as a bad role model. So for that reason, I, I didn't try those things. Nonetheless, I still kept knife in my bag all the time. My sister saw it one day and asked me, ah, did you know what I'm I'm moving back pencil with me. Like, ah, pencil. Blade, I said, blade, my machine, my machine. But knife is better. Why? Because I was living in the midst of madness. The same thing for your kids. Because the school I went to, we used to fight every day. We used to fight every day. I saw people got killed. I saw people got stabbed. So I didn't know when it was going to be my turn. So I had to protect myself. Somehow I kept a, ba a knife in my bag, a bread knife in my bag. Mommy, sorry, that knife where you find that time I mean carry <laughs> So I kept a bag in my a knife in my bag. So the same thing for your children, especially the boys. They will grow, they will go out, and they will meet their friends, especially now it's even worse. You know, kids are trying different drugs now, Moli, Colorado, Washington, Texas, uh, um, United Kingdom, different drugs that they are trying now. So because you being a mother, you will not want to hurt them. You are you are too sensitive. You don't want them to hate you. You would want to allow these things fly. Because you don't want them to hate you. So your child brings home Colorado. And because you don't want to hurt your child, you say, eh, Shama Rora, Mamma for my for long, my shama for long see. Because you love them. But you need a man in the house that is a bit crazy, that is not going to show the affection and the love the way you are going to show it, and it's going to be a bit firm on them to make them sit right. Maybe when they now grow and they are not children again, they are adults now, they can even choose to start planting Colorado in their house. It is their business. It's the responsibility is no longer on you as the parent. You've tried your best. But while they are still there, you need... I, I, don't, I don't beat my kids. My first child is going to be eight. I've only beaten him twice. And I beat him because he lied. Twice. And he beats and I just, I just tap him, tap him, tap him. But anytime I get home, they sit right. They are straightened up. Not because I'm going to beat them, but because you understand that, that pff, this man is there again. You know, you need that. So I understand that it's possible that you end up in a terrible marriage, you know, like which I talked about the last time, which I keep advising. 
if you know this is your partner your spouse is not compatible don't just bother my bother don't cause more problems you already have too many problems in this world don't add don't contr contribute to it even if your spouses are terrible don't do it but well let's say you've now you've done it you are in it already if it is something you can talk over if both both, both I, I, I pray both parties are listening to this or watching this video sit right let down your pride you guys if you know you don't you want to separate you want to split maybe you wait till these children are 18 and they can take their own decision try to inculcate some of these things in them then you can separate and go your own ways but why they are still children they need you you cause this problem now you use your team bring them so it is your responsibility to actually stay there in their lives they need both parents but if the unfortunate happens that you end up with scumbags good for nothing partners and you need to go abusive marriages and all of that I have to be sincere. It's going to be tough. There are widows that didn't plan this. They just happened. I have to still tell you, it's going to be tough. God is going to help you. But ego hard. You have to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Because if you do your own experiment, go outside. Kids, even your husbands, your spouses that are ill-mannered, ask this big question. How did it? is or appearance grow did they grow together it's it's a crazy question that i'm going to i'm becoming sensitive right now your spouses that are acting crazy ask the big question the parents how did they grow that boy or that gay in your hood that is behaving like a lunatic that is causing trouble up and down ask the big question where's the mother where's the father are they together Ask this most problems with children that are ill mannered, that are behaving, that are acting crazy. Most of these things can be traced back to the parents. So, now back to this every child wants to behave normal, every child wants to behave crazy, every child wants to be free, every child wants to do whatever we want. If they had allowed you, you would really watch this video right now. If they had allowed your prince had allowed you to do all the madness with your head. Act the crazy way, way you want to. Would you be where you are today? If they for allow me, say make I Chris as I want Chris, or more, MC Ulomo will polish my shoe, Matija will be done. Because I go for don't Chris. A child wants to, I grew in the wood. Grew in Alak Badu and Bariga. Mati ni Bosto, but I forgo ka kiri adubo. Because I, that was what I saw. You get? So, for those that can't help it, that it is a bit tough, there's nothing they can do about it. Now, we'll discuss that in the next episode.